Hello and welcome to this Dr. Roth video on solving an equation requiring multiplication by a single algebraic term leading to a quadratic. So we've got this equation here, we want to solve, we want to find the possible values of x. Now usually our instinct is when we have an equation which has a fraction in it, we want to get rid of the fraction. And the way we get rid of the fraction is just multiplying both sides of the equation by whatever this denominator is here. So we can see the denominator here is x, so simply we just multiply both sides of the equation by x, and that means we'll have an equation which doesn't have a fraction in it anymore, and then it's easier to solve. So let's times everything by x. x times by x is just x squared. Then 6 over x, if you times it by x, it cancels out that over x, and you're just left with 6. And the 5 we also need to times by x, and we just get 5x. So now we've got an equation which doesn't have any fractions in it. Now what would we usually do? If we've got this quadratic equation and we're trying to solve it, we'd usually get everything on one side and zero on the other side. So let's put everything on the side where the x squared term is positive, which is the left side. So we want zero on the other side of the equation, so we need to get rid of that 5x. So I'm going to just subtract 5x from both sides of the equation. If I do that, I get x squared. I'm going to put the minus 5x after that, and then the minus 6, because we like to have something x squared, plus or minus, something x, and then the constant term, the non-x term at the end. And then on the right-hand side, we subtracted 5x from this side as well. 5x minus 5x is just 0. So now we've got a kind of quadratic equation. You're probably more used to this kind of form. Now, hopefully you've seen my video already on how we solve a quadratic equation like this. But firstly, we need to factorise this equation. So firstly, we find two numbers which add to give the number from the x, so the minus 5, and times to give this last number, the constant term, the minus 6. Now, those numbers are minus 6 and plus 1. So therefore, we can factorise this as x minus 6 and x plus 1. We saw that in a previous video. And then we say, well, we've got a product of two things equal to 0. Either x minus 6 is 0. Now, what minus 6 is 0? Well, it's 6. Or x plus 1 is 0. What plus 1 is 0? Well, it's minus 1. And those are the final solutions.